Hi, it's Gabrielle, and today I am going over all of the things that I got at IMATS. Um, IMATS is the International Makeup Artist Trade Show, so it's a makeup show. Um, I went to the one in LA last week. I had the Insider Pass, so that includes a goodie bag, which I will show you right here. This bag with a couple things that I took out because it's heavy. So I'm just gonna go over the things that I got and then I'll go over the things that I bought as well. If you wanna see more of a vlog style video, that should be up already. If not, it'll be the next video I post um, where I just talk about the different courses that I took and the different like events that I attended and just my thoughts and I guess review of the show. Um, but without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first item that I got in my goodie bag was this Bioderma Sensa, Sensa Bio H2O. So it's the makeup removing um, micellar water. So it's the pink cap, and this is a full bottle. This is 500 milliliters. So I've heard so many good things about this product. Nick Lujan in one of the classes actually talked about this product being like one of his holy grail products. And so one of the things that was in the goodie bag was this Makeup Artist magazine. Um, it is their 20th anniversary issue. So it has some really great artists in here. Sam Fine, V. Neal, um, Rick Baker. So just some really iconic um, makeup artists and it kind of just has their works and some articles inside so yeah I think that's fun it's nice to put on a coffee table for now so the next thing I got in my goodie bag is this Ofra on the glow highlighting and bronzing palette um, I've heard of Ofra I know a lot of people love their highlighters um, I saw one of the courses that Ofra was sponsoring, um, but I've never used their products. So this is the palette. It has a really nice, good sized mirror on the other side, but it has a Blissful Highlighter, Egyptian Clay Bronzer, Americano Bronzer, California Dream Triangle, Beverly Hills Highlighter, and Rodeo Drive. So I know Rodeo Drive is really popular um, and their pans do come out, so I could always depot them and put them into a, like, Z palette or, like, a magnetic palette. Um, so it's nice. Um, I'm not super into the glittery highlight look right now, but they look like they'll be nice, like, eyeshadows as well. The next big thing is this palette from Morphe. Um, this is their 8H Hi-Fi Sculpt and Shimmer Palette, Highlight and Contour Palette. Um, this one is not in my shade, which is fine because they have no way of knowing what my shade is when I pick up the bag. Um, so I can always just add it to my kit or give it to a friend. So this is what it looks like. And then... This is the palette. So it's got a couple of highlighters right here. So four highlighters and four bronzing colors right here. Um, as far as the shades go, I mean, I'd probably be able to use one or two of the highlighters. The bronzers are a little dark for me. Um, I wouldn't consider any of these shades contour for my skin tone. Um, but they might work on someone with slightly deeper skin tones. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, like I said, either put that in my kit or give it away to someone who can use it. So the next item I got was this cute little pink brush from Eli Maya, I think. I haven't heard of this brand at all. Um, it kind of looks like a Luxie brush to me, but... It's not, but it's super cute, and it is like a flat foundation brush, so I probably use it to like buff out foundation. It's really soft, um, and it feels high quality, but I haven't washed it yet, so we'll see how much shedding actually happens. Um, and it did come with this little brush guard, so I think that's super cute. 
Continuing on with brushes, um, I got a Moda brush. Um, this is a Triad Eye Brush M27. Um, this brush is really interesting looking. So Moda has some really nice brushes. They're very soft and affordable, um, especially at the show. They were doing pretty good discounts, but this brush is really interesting looking because it's like triangular, um, but it's very soft. I feel like I would probably use this for either like a cream eyeshadow or even just a concealer, like an under eye concealer. Um, but I'll have to test this out because it's just such an in interesting shape. Um, I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to like this brush. It is very soft and it does give, so it's not as dense as you might think. Since we should keep on the same vein of brushes, this is a Cosette brush. Um, I went to one of his demonstrations this year. This is a like little flat shader brush. Um, so I would either use it to either pack on like color specifically on the lid or maybe even go underneath my eyes for eyeshadow. Um, the purple is really nice. I kind of like this color. Um, and then this is the D230 brush. And it feels really luxurious, especially the handle. I feel like the handle is longer than most and I really like that. It feels very weighty and balanced even though it's like a small little brush. Um, so I'm excited to try this one out. Moving on to some pans of product. So this is a pressed shadow from Suva Beauty. I really wish they included one of their hydro liners. I was looking forward to that and thinking like, ooh, that'd be a product I'd really love to test out. Um, but no, we got an eyeshadow, um, but let me open this up for you. So this is the shade. It's called City of Angels. So I think they're based in Los Angeles, I believe. Oh no, Canada. Hmm. So City of Angels. So I think that this might be like based on Los Angeles. Um, let me just do a little swatch for you. It feels really soft. Wow, that's pretty pigmented. It feels very creamy almost. That's what it looks like. So it's a nice metallic shimmery shade. I don't know. I'll test it out more and let you guys know. Continuing on the eyeshadow train, we have this Mud Eye Color, um, and this is in the shade Tea Tree. So this color is a green shade. Looks shimmery. I'll swatch it for you too, right next to the Suva Beauty one. Okay, so... <laughs> Without a base, pigmentation is not that great on this one, um, but it is mud. Let's try again. Not looking very hopeful, um, but who knows? It could work really well with a cream base or something. Um, but yeah, so far, green streaks, are not looking that good. Like, look how much creamier the Suva Beauty one looks. But like I said, I haven't tested it on my eyes yet, so things might change. Um, I did get a duo adhesive. I could always use more in my kit, so not mad about that. So this is a product that I've never heard of, or the brand I've never heard of, um, Sistar. It's the Glam Up Mega Curling Mascara. Um, I could always use another mascara in my kit, so I will go ahead and test it out. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't heard of this brand, so I'm interested to try it and let you guys know. Another thing from Sistar that I got in my bag is a liquid eyeliner. It's their Eye Contour Precision Liquid Eyeliner. These pens I typically like, but I wonder if it's felt tip because I prefer the brush tip over the felt tip. Um, but I'll test it out and see if I can get a sharp wing with it. 
So I got a Lime Crime um, Velveteen. This is in the shade Mercury. I have one in Cashmere already, um, but this one is such an interesting shade. I won't swatch it for you because I might put it in my kit, but it's like a metallic, like rosy plum almost, or like a cool plum. Um, so I am interested to see how the metallic changes the formula. Um, but I think it'd be really cool to do like more of an editorial look with it. Another thing I got in my bag is the Ardell Matte Whipped Lipstick. So it's a bright, bright pink liquid lipstick. Um, I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lips. Um, I probably will try it though, just because the color seems fun. And I haven't tried any like makeup products from Ardell, just their lashes. Continuing on with lipsticks, I got a lipstick from Bedellium Tools. They are known for their brushes. I really love their brushes, so I don't know. I guess we'll venture on and try their lipstick. Um, the packaging is fairly nice. It's this heavy like metal packaging with a metallic closure, so it's really nice. Um, and then this shade is actually really pretty. It's a pretty nude. I feel like this is a color that I feel like a lot of brides would wear or even just have as like an everyday lip color. Next we have something from MAC. Now I love a good dark lip on some days where I feel a little moody um, or even if I don't feel moody, I like having a dark lip every now and then. And this is going to satisfy my needs, I feel like, or I hope. Um, this is a just normal cap and this is the shade it's like a beautiful deep purple like I feel like this is heroine's like deeper darker vampire sister um so I am excited to use this and also this is a product you can do back to mac on so after I'm done with it or after I depot it I can take it back to mac and after I have enough empty containers I can always exchange it I think for a lipstick or an eyeshadow I think sometimes they change what you can exchange things for um, so that's really cool because even after I'm done with the product I could exchange it so two more products I'm almost done um, this is from NYX Cosmetics it's the Worthy Hype volume volume and lengthening mascara um, and this is in the shade brownish black so I will definitely be adding this to my kit because when you want like a no makeup makeup brownish black or dark brown colors for mascara works amazing because it looks so natural and soft and beautiful and I love it so I will definitely be putting that into my kit for whenever I need like a no makeup makeup look. And the last item finally is this product from Makeup Forever. This is their HD high definition powder. I've used it before and oh my gosh, it's so amazing and I needed more powder and it's like they read my mind. So I am happy that they included this. Um, Nick Lujan did use this product, I believe in his demo that I watched. So that was everything that was in the goodie bag. I have a couple of more items, I know be patient with me, um, that I purchased or that I was given to in exchange for like following them on social media or like getting emails or whatnot. Um, so I'll go through those quickly and then we'll be done. So one thing I got for um, free from Moda was just this tiny little brush, um, which is really cute. I think I would use it for the under eyes or maybe a thick smoked out eyeliner. Um, this is the Royal Ant Lang Nickel Pointed Liner Brush BMD 441. So it's cute. I like the color. It's bright and fun. So this is a brand that I have heard about, but I have not ever used. Um, it's Face Tori, so they gave me some cute little stickers and then a face mask. So I'll probably do a first impressions video on this because it's a sheet mask, but it feels like there's a lot in here. I don't know if it's directions or other things that are in here, but it's super cute. I love the packaging and it seems really fun. Like I could totally see like myself having like a mask night with my girlfriends um, and just kind of grabbing these. Like they're so easy. I don't know. I like it. So I'll test it out and let you guys know. 
I also got a charcoal mask from Rude Cosmetics. They gave me this charcoal mask to try out, so I think it might be fun, and I don't know. I'll test it out. Um, oh, in my um, Insider Pass goodie bag, they had a $15 off anything from MUN, and on the coupon it said $15 off anything you purchase, but then when I went to their booth, they said I had to spend $20, which isn't bad, but I'm like, that's very different. Like, it doesn't say it on the card anywhere, so I'm like, that's kind of weird how you're telling me I have to spend $20 to use this $15 off coupon, but whatever. I guess I should have just assumed that that's what they wanted. Um, so I didn't really like any of their products that I was like, swatching hence this green eyeshadow that I got from them in the goodie bag um so I decided that I am just gonna get some empty palettes um and honestly they're ten dollars each and had I spent full price on them I probably would not have to be honest like it's cardboard it's kind of flimsy um, at least it has a magnetic closure, but it's a good size and it does have a mirror. So, I mean, I don't know. I got these two for $7 after tax each and I feel like I could put some of like maybe the Ofra things in it and kind of make my own palette to use on set for like touch-ups or I don't know. I'll figure something out. Um, so not my favorite buy, but I just felt like I needed to use it. So it's probably what I would use the most from their store. And then this is like liquid gold. And this time, literally. Um, EVA is my favorite, hands down, my favorite airbrush um, or body paint company. Um, they do have alcohol-based paints, which I got the metallic set right here so I know these bottles need to be shaken but they are paints for my airbrush so these are pro products um but I have a gold here and I know they're really itty bitty but they're just stunning and exciting and you need the slightest amount to get like this beautiful beautiful effect so there's a gold a silver um, a blue, a green, a pink, and a red. So this set was like $36 at the show, um, which is pretty affordable um, as far as these paints go. And I really like how they come in these little itty bitty containers because a little goes a long way. So when I'm using a metallic shade, I feel like I don't need that much. It's more of an accent color versus a base color. Um, so I really enjoyed that and that's probably my favorite purchase at the show. So that concludes my iMats haul with all the things I got for free, some things that I bought. Um, it was super crazy, so much stuff to get through. Thank you for sticking with me. Um, through the good and the bad. Um, sorry, I'll test it out, I promise. I'll test it out, but not looking good so far. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's it. If you want to see me talk about eye mats, like I said a couple of times in this video, uh, check out the vlog. I'll have it either linked below or it'll be in the same playlist or something. Um, and thank you for watching. If you like this video, then hit that thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos, tutorials, reviews, just me being silly and weird, um, subscribe to me and you'll get your fair share of Gabrielle being weird. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.